Hi, today I want to show you how to use Relearn's latest feature, Global MIDI Transformation. As an example, I'm going to use a small keyboard controller, which unfortunately doesn't have a modulation wheel. What if we could just add one? We could use one of the knobs on the top right of the controller to simulate it. That's quite useful because most synthesizers do something interesting as soon as you move the mod wheel. In case you don't know what's a modulation wheel, I'm talking about something like that. All keyboards that have such a wheel will send MIDI CC1 messages, as long as you move it. Let's go ahead and fire up an instance of Relearn on the Monitoring FX chain of Reaper. I'm choosing the Monitoring FX chain here because I want this mapping to be global. I simply want this to work no matter which project is loaded. I choose the keyboard controller as MIDI input device and MIDI output device. Then I add a new mapping using the Add 1 button. Now I press Learn Source and turn the first knob, which should act as a modulation wheel. Done. Turns out this knob transmits CZ48 messages. Let's change that by choosing the MIDI Send Message target. The next step is the most important one, Set Output to Input Device. And now we choose the message that we want to transmit when turning the knob. It's MIDI Continuous Controller 1, or in short, CZ1. As we learned before, that's the CZ number for modulation wheels. And here we go. The cool thing about this is that we learn changes the function of this knob everywhere in Reaper. Whenever you play something on this keyboard or record it, this knob will now act as modulation wheel, no matter which project, no matter which track. Of course you can close Relearn and the monitoring FX chain, and Relearn will do its job in the background, even after Reaper restarts. Things like this have previously only been possible by using quite complicated setups involving virtual MIDI ports and sometimes even external software. Now you can do it much more directly using just Relearn. Now let's dive into a more complicated usage scenario. Modern controller keyboards very often expose multiple MIDI ports. One example is the APC Key 25 MK2. Let's open our Relearn instance on the monitoring FX chain again. When opening Relearn's input menu, I can see that there are two ports, keys and control. That's pretty intuitive. When I play the keys, this controller sends messages to the keys input port. When I turn the encoders, the controller will send messages to the control input port. That's why I choose the control input port as input. The output port doesn't really matter for global MIDI transformation, but it's good practice to just set it as well. We might need it for other mappings. Ok, I press Learn Source and turn the encoder. As you can see on the left, Relearn correctly detected that it's an endless encoder. Relearn will handle the transformation of a relative encoder to an absolute mod wheel. Actually, it was not supposed to work right away, yet it sounds like it did work. Turns out I forgot to change the MIDI input port of the track. It was set to all inputs. But usually you would choose an explicit MIDI input device here. I want to play a synth, so of course I would choose the keys input. And see, this is what I wanted to show you, it doesn't work anymore. It's because in Relearn we chose the control input port and not the key input port. What we really need here is a way to inject the transformed MIDI message into another port. We need to move it from the control port to the keys port. So what happens here? Relearn receives messages on the control input port and moves them to the keys input port. That's it, it works. And by the way, you can always disable this function by disabling the mapping or the complete relearn instance. You could even choose to only activate this function whenever you press a modifier button of your choice. For example, the shift key of your computer keyboard. This is done using conditional activation, a very powerful concept in Relearn that we still haven't talked about, hopefully in one of the next episodes.